As per usual, I was just crying in public, which often happens. I am not flying through this book because I am not enjoying it very much. Oh my gosh, this book was so good. <laughs> It's Sarah, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I'm coming at you with a very, very special vlog because in case you don't remember, a couple of months ago, Mary from Mary Among Stories and I did this little thing where we basically bought each other books that we thought the other was going to like and the thing was that I didn't know which books Mary had chosen for me and she didn't know which books I had chosen for her and now it is finally time for us to read these books and see what we think about them. So basically in this vlog, I'm going to be reading the two books that Mary sent to me when we did that surprise haul, as well as another book that she actually sent me for my birthday. And the reason why I decided to include that book in this vlog is because it's shorter than the other two and it's also a gift from Mary, so you know, why not talk about it in this video as well? So since I have three books I'm going to be talking about in this video, I'm not going to be updating you like as I go because that would be way too long. You would be sitting here for like three hours. So instead, I think what I'm going to do is that I'm going to give you an update around the halfway point or whenever I feel like something very important has happened. And then I will also give you obviously my final thoughts at the end when I finish the book. So the first book that Mary sent over to me in this haul that we did was Assassin's Apprentice by Robin Hobb. This is a high fantasy adult novel or rather series that I've been meaning to read for a while. And as you may be able to tell, I've already started it. I'm like a third of the way through, I think at this point. Um, and that is because I was just longing to listen to an audiobook so I started listening to the audiobook for this book as I was like going on walks and working from home and um, it's great so far really enjoying it there is a lot of classic fantasy nostalgic vibes and I'm I'm really enjoying it I can't wait to see what happens next then the second book that Mary chose for me in that haul that we did was the traveling cat chronicles by Hiro Arikawa this is a contemporary Japanese, I think, fiction that is told from the perspective of a cat. Um, and we follow him as he goes traveling with his owner and we don't really know why, but apparently this book will like make me sob. So I'm excited, but also this, this vlog may be a mess because of this, it's fine. <laughs> And then finally, the last book that I'm going to be reading for this vlog is A Little Princess by Frances Hudson. <laughs> by Frances Hugs Hug A Little Princess by Frances Hudson Hudson. I can't Hud Hudigerson Burnett. Okay, there's a D and a G, and somehow my mind and my mouth just don't. They don't want to do it. Anyway, I'm going to be reading this book, which I don't know too much about, but I know that it is one of Mary's favorite, like, children's classic, I think. And yeah, I've heard that a lot of people really, really love this book. I've never heard of it. I don't know what happens in this book. I assume that it's about a little girl. And apparently, I think her name is Sarah. Yeah, her name is Sarah, like me. Woo! Okay, so yeah, all right. This has to be one of the most chaotic intros I've ever filmed for any video. <laughs> so I'm not sure yet in which order I'm going to read these books. Obviously, I'm going to start by finishing Assassin's Apprentice because I'm almost in the middle of it anyway. But then afterwards, I don't know, maybe I'll read like a little princess and then I'll finish with the Traveling Cat Chronicles since I think this one might be an emotional ride. We'll see how it goes. But that is it for this intro. Welcome to the vlog. Can't wait to read all of these books and share all of my thoughts with all of you. So yeah, without any further ado, let's go. Hello everyone. So I am a little more than halfway through Assassin's Apprentice. So I thought that it was the perfect time to procrastinate writing my thesis and give you an update instead. <laughs> So I am on chapter 15, to be precise, page 225, and so far I'm really enjoying this book. I was really hoping that I was going to because I had heard so many credible things about Robin Hobbs' writing and I've always been very interested in reading
reading her books well not always but like for the last couple of years or so so I'm very happy that I'm enjoying this so far in case you don't know too much about this series in the first book Assassin's Apprentice we basically follow Fitz um, during his childhood and he is the bastard son of the king that has now fallen into disgrace because of him and he's being raised at court but because he is kind of royalty and also kind of not royalty he doesn't really have like a clear role so they use him as an assassin I think Fitz is such a great character to follow because like him we are slowly discovering everything that there is to know about this kingdom because obviously before being taken to court he didn't know anything either the world building is a lot so far there is a lot to take in but i'm also really really enjoying it because it's super fascinating there are a lot of different like duchies who are basically those little kingdoms and we have like the king who's ruling over all of them but they also have their enemies who are like the out islanders i think the world is just super interesting and very very well done and definitely very complex there are a lot of details which i think might be throwing some people off but for me it's really really interesting that's one of the things that i love the most in fantasy it's definitely a slow paced book because of that because we get so many details and also so like the day-to-day -day life of Fitz is not really action-packed we just basically follow him as he's learning so it's not like very plot based so far I think it's more of like a character driven story anyways there is a lot of political intrigue and backstabbing though which I do really enjoy overall this entire book so far has felt very like nostalgic fantasy for me like classic fantasy which is a vibe in and of itself like it's not like if i'm reading a ya fantasy that's a very different type of vibe than this one and i'm really enjoying that so far i don't know if that makes sense but it just has this like epic classic older fantasy vibe to it that i was kind of missing so that's great and yeah now that is really all i have to say so far so i will see you once I finish. <laughs> Hello everyone, so excuse the possibly strange lighting and definitely strange angle of this update. Um, I needed to update you because, as you can probably guess, I just finished Assassin's Apprentice and oh my gosh, this book was so good. <laughs> I am so happy that Mary made me read this book because honestly it's so amazing and i need to pick up the second book like now the last chapters of this book like the last few chapters were so insane i was listening to the audiobook while i was working and i gasped audibly like multiple times because of what was happening it was just completely crazy and oh my gosh i love fits our main character so much i love him i want to give him a hug because he's been really going through it um for most of this book i also love the fool so much they are just so perfect they're just so sneaky and so weird and i love them and robin hub's writing is honestly really really great i really like it it really kept me engaged throughout the entire thing everything about this world is just so fascinating it has such an interesting world building it's so complex there are so many details so it's definitely a little bit overwhelming but I'm still really enjoying it and I'm still really enjoying like discovering all of it and the political intrigue in this book and the political backstabbing, literal and not literal, was so good. I really, really loved it and I can't wait to know more about this entire like kingdom and all of Fitz's adventures because wow. It was just, it was so fun. But that means that I had to pick my next book into my very, very small TBR for this video. And I have decided to go with A Little Princess by Frances Huxton Burnett. I've just given up on trying to pronounce her middle name. I hope I'm pronouncing it right. But this is the second book that I'm going to be reading for this vlog. I have to say, even if I am the one who insisted on reading it during this reading vlog, because... At the beginning, it was only supposed to be Assassin's Apprentice and the Traveling Cat Chronicle. I am a little bit scared of reading this book because it's a classic and we all know I have some very 
complicated relationships with classics so i really really hope that i enjoy this book and if i don't at least it's not very long and the font is very large so <laughs> you know but yeah like i did with assassin's apprentice i'm going to start this book update you when i'm halfway through about like how i'm feeling how it's going and then we'll talk about it more in details once i'm done hello everyone it's me I feel like it's been so long. It's been, I think, over a week since I finished Assassin's Apprentice and I am only now halfway through A Little Princess and I have to say that the reason why it's taken me so long before I updated you is definitely because I am not flying through this book because I enjoying it very much. So in this book we follow our main character Sarah who is the daughter of a very wealthy man and at the beginning of the book he leaves her at a very prestigious boarding school because he has to go back to India because you know colonies fun times and basically we follow her over at this boarding school until one day she suddenly becomes poor. I won't tell you the reason why she actually becomes poor but I feel like it's kind of obvious to guess but anyway <laughs> and yeah so she becomes poor and she has to live in the attic and she has to actually live without all of the luxuries that she was used to and to be honest i don't really care much for that story i think that i would have probably enjoyed this book more when i was a kid i do believe that children's classic can kind of be enjoyed at every age but this one in particular for me just doesn't really do it right now i'm not really that interested in that little girl's life especially since she is this like very very good little girl everybody loves her and she's so special and she makes up stories and you know she's like super super good but she also stands up for herself and she cares about everyone she's just this like very perfect character i feel like this book was made to teach a younger audience how to be a good little person and i'm just not the target audience, obviously. <laughs> so yeah, I don't think it's a bad book per se, and I'm definitely going to be finishing it for the sake of this video, but it's just not really my type of thing. I do understand why Mary would enjoy this book though, because our main character is like very imaginative. She's constantly, you know, creating all of those worlds in her head, and she's constantly telling stories to everyone around her, which honestly i was kind of the same at that age because i also had a very very wild imagination and i couldn't keep my mouth shut i mean at the point where i'm at she's in the attic becoming friends with rats so who knows maybe this book will become completely wild and completely blow me away before i'm done but I have doubts. But you know, that's okay. Not every single book that you try to read is going to be for you and that is just how life works. <laughs> Hello. So it has been like two months since this last clip because I finished reading A Little Princess but then I forgot to film my final thoughts. I forgot to like share them with the vlog and then I took a two months break from booktube. So it's been a while. I finished reading A Little Princess. Sadly, my thoughts about this book didn't really change from the last update. But yeah, I think, like I said in that last clip, that if I had read this when I was a child, I would have probably enjoyed it so much more than right now. And I think that's actually a pretty unpopular opinion because so many people seem to really, really enjoy this book, which is so nice and I'm so happy for you. But yeah, for me, this one just didn't really do it. Um, I loved, however, the importance of stories and of imagination that it discussed. But overall, in terms of plot and characters, I just didn't really feel anything. I, didn't, I really just didn't connect with the story at all. So here we are. <laughs> but hopefully I will have more luck with the Traveling Cat Chronicles. I am actually like very excited to read this book because I've heard so many amazing things about it. Not just from Mary, from other people as well. Apparently, like this book is heartwarming and heartbreaking and if you have pets it will probably destroy your entire life so yeah i'm looking forward to that i guess 
and I am going to be starting this book very very soon and like I did for the two other books I'm going to come back once I'm halfway done so I am now more than halfway through the traveling cat chronicles and I have to say I'm really enjoying this so far I am on page 161 out of like 240 something pages and yeah I'm really liking this it's very funny the cat who is the main character is very sassy as you would expect I feel like cats are often portrayed that way and it definitely works and he's like very very funny very sarcastic we still don't know why he's traveling all around with his owner we know that basically his owner is trying to leave him somewhere to be adopted because he can't have him anymore but we don't know why so I don't know when it is going to be revealed but I feel like it's going to be like a very sad reason but yeah i'm very intrigued so far my heart isn't broken so you know it's going well <laughs> but yeah more than halfway through i'm really enjoying it and we'll see how it goes hello everybody so i managed yesterday to finish the traveling cat chronicles in the metro when i went to see my friend and i have to say i am really really happy that mary decided to send me this book because it truly was such a nice cozy novel and I really really loved it. The last hundred pages or so that I had left made me quite emotional so you know as per usual I was just crying in public which often happens and yeah it was just so great. I really loved that the main character was a cat. I thought that was such an interesting perspective and he was just so much fun to follow. I love to see the world through his perspective. I think that the author Hiro Arikawa did such a great job at portraying him and it was just really really great and it was so sweet to explore the bond between a cat and a human and how much they love each other and how much they care for one another and it was just very very sweet and like I said a couple of passages made me very emotional <laughs> because as we know like the owner can't keep the cat anymore and it's just the reason why I kind of saw it coming but also it was really heartbreaking so yeah it was such a bittersweet book and I'm very very happy that I finally read it after hearing Mary talk about it for so long and it was definitely as good as she said so yeah I really really enjoyed this one but that brings us to the end of this video. I feel like I've been filming this for like years. As always, I'm being a little bit dramatic. It's only been like a couple of months. But yeah, we are at the end of this journey of me reading all of the books that Mary sent me. I have to say out of the three, definitely my favorite was Assassin's Apprentice to absolutely no one's surprise because that's the fantasy book. And obviously, if you know me, you know that I just love fantasy so much. So that was to be expected but yeah really enjoyed this one and then I I need to you know second place goes to the traveling cat chronicle and then last place goes to a little princess I think it's fair to say that even though Mary and I don't have very similar reading tastes all across the board we still know how to pick books for one another well I'm saying that I don't know if she actually enjoyed any of the books that I sent over to her because she hasn't told me because it's a surprise so who knows maybe I'm completely wrong but from my point of view Mary definitely made some great choices I really really enjoyed these books and I'm very very glad I did but that brings us to the end of this video if you want to see all of the books that I picked for Mary and her reactions definitely go and check out her video I will leave it linked down below as well as her channel and if you're one of my booktube mutuals and you would love to do something similar with me also definitely let me know because I would be very interested <laughs> but yeah that is it for this video I hope that you really enjoyed if you did please don't forget to subscribe and I will see you in my next one bye